families in an area where less than half the residents graduate high school. We began thinking about this school in 2007. The director of Girls Incorporated and myself would often meet for coffee and talk about how we could improve the lives of the girls we served every day after school. And we looked at each other and simultaneously said, we could open a school. We traveled to the neighborhoods of our girls and asked their families, would you send your daughter to a single gender STEM school. We realized that the school was very needed in Hamilton County. We put together a 500 page application and we submitted it to the Hamilton County Department of Education and they unanimously approved Chattanooga Girls Leadership Academy. Now let me just say, the first few years were very, very difficult. We struggled. The girls did not want to work. They didn't feel like they had to work. They weren't inspired to work. We had over 100 failing girls. The state put us on the failing list, their priority list. So the CGLA Board of Directors put their heads together and they hired Dr. Elaine Swafford. And as it turns out, it's not really a job. She got busy putting together an amazing academic team. Some of those girls that started with the school, they had seen a different set of administrators and a really different set of teachers almost every year they have been here. And I think that speaks volumes of why the school was on the state closure list. She and I went to visit the superintendent, basically begging for mercy please do not close our doors. We came in and we were able to bring strategies. We were able to bring momentum. We really had to turn the building around uh, and save it from closure. The one thing we did recognize when we got here is the fact that our girls could learn. They wanted to learn. They wanted someone to push them and challenge them and give them the work that they needed to be successful at the next level. The last two years, CGLA jumped from the state's high priority list to the top 5% of schools in Tennessee. When we came in, there were six schools on that low performing bottom 5%. There are now five, but CGLA is not one of them and never will be again. It was then when we really started building uh, what the charter was meant to be, and that was an, uh, a STEM school for disadvantaged girls. There's only four or five percent of girls of color who will enter STEM education or STEM careers. And every day, we're changing that conversation for these girls. And so the kids today understand the importance of, I've got to do well, not only on the 10 ready and the state proficiency test, they understand they've got to do well to get college scholarships. My first time taking the ACT, I made an 18, which was my junior year. And I wasn't really proud of that score, so I decided to take all the after school classes that CGLA provides for ACT prep. I took it again and made a 20, but that wasn't the score that I wanted to attend the school of my dreams. With that same energy and mindset, I went into the ACT of September in 2018, and I scored a 27. We put a rigorous curriculum in front of the students every day so that we get those letters back from their college professors that tell us, CGLA got me ready for college. CGLA to me means to be a leader. The school shows you the ways to not only overcome things that girls go through in life, but to be better than what you think you are. I've watched them right before my eyes become different people. And so at CGLA, we try to create dreams and hopes and pride. And we have an opportunity to say that uh, we had some immense impact on the young ladies and helping them dream to be things that they never thought they would be. Because of CGLA, I have evolved. From a timid sister, daughter, and student, to an inspired young woman. 
ready to assert herself. I have developed emotionally, socially, and academically. And this marks me as different from many of my peers. I am a role model. I am a leader.